In this video, I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters for free. That means you don't need to spend money on Midjourney, Leonardo, or other AI tools that charge you subscription fees to create or generate images. You can see the consistency in these images that I generated. You can see that this character looks the same with this, and these are different scenes, but it maintains the same character consistency. You can see these other images here and also created you know a video out of these images you can see how good this video looks i know that character consistency is a big problem when creating videos or story videos and stuff like that that's why i'm treating it in this video i'll show you how to keep your characters consistent just by adding certain keywords when generating images and by clicking certain fields in these two that i'll be sharing with you by the end of this video you'll be able to create consistent characters without spending money like i said this tool is free for now so now that the tool is free use it and generate as much images as possible create as much videos as possible before it turns to a pay tool but i think this particular tool would not become a pay tool for a very long time so just use it and enjoy yourself my name is charles let's get started So I'm going to start by using this script that I generated on ChatGPT. You can see the prompt that I use in generating this script. You can pause and copy the prompt. It's a good prompt anyway, if you want to generate engaging story. So copy this prompt. Now, once you have your story, for example, you have your story and you want consistent characters, what you're going to do, first of all, the first thing you're going to do is to list out all the characters in that story. So I asked ChatGPT, list the characters and give Adama's parents names because ChatGPT listed the character names here but did not list the names of the parents. So what I asked it to do is to list the characters and give me Adama's parents names and it listed the names of all the characters that I use in the story. Now this is very important if you want to create consistent characters because one of the key features that would keep these characters consistent is their name, character name. And I'll show you shortly. I'm going to tell ChatGPT. I want to generate images for the characters on Google. Write text prompts for each character. Characters are Nigerians. The goal is to maintain character consistency throughout the video. So here, we are telling ChatGPT that, oh, we want these images to be consistent. All right, so if you're writing this prompt, you write it in a way that it is going to help maintain consistency when generating these images. So yeah, we can see here, we told the AI, we told ChatGPT the years, because it's not part of the story, all right? We told him the years that each of the characters are that would help ChatGPT create those prompts. We said Kofi is 27 years old, Adama is 22 years old, Kwame is 58 years old, Essie is 50 years, and this would help it. And you can see the result. It gave us prompts to create the consistent characters. You can see prompts for all the characters, Kofi, Adama, Kwame, which is a dad, Essie, which is the mom. Now, this script, it talks about a couple that is in love, but the girl's parents are not in support of their relationship because the boy is kind of from like a poor background. So we have gotten our prompts for generating the consistent images. We are going to copy these prompts right here. We're going to copy it and then we are going to go to Google Docs. We're going to go to a fresh document and paste the prompt. The reason why we pasted it here is because we are going to edit this prompt. We are going to change something. ChatGPT gave us a good prompt, but we still need to tweak it a bit so it's going to fit what we want. So now we are going to generate the first character and the first character is Kofi. Kofi is a young Nigerian man, 27 years old, with a humble yet strong appearance. Now, before we take this to the AI tool that will generate these consistent images, these are the most important things that you need to do before generating if you want your characters to be consistent now listen remember i said there are certain things in the prompt that would help the image remain or keep the consistency number one is the age you can see here a 27 year old nigerian man the age nationality gender skin color the hair type the attire, those are some of the key things that would help the character keep their consistency. So we can change every other thing in this prompt to change maybe the background and all that. But let me just get started. Let me show you. Now we're going to copy this prompt here, all right, because we are going to edit it. We're going to copy this prompt here. All right, we're just going to go straight into generating this by first changing the prompt for Kofi. Now, if you can see here, a 27 years old Nigerian man with a humble yet strong appearance. This is fine. He is dark skin short natural hair and a calm but determined expression so this part can be changed to be sad happy and all that he wears simple traditional yoruba or Igbo attire so for example if you're in scene one and you wanted to wear the same attire 
you will keep the same. But if you are in another scene, you have to change the attire here. But every other thing will remain the same. So for example, I'm going to change. I don't like this attire here. A traditional Yoruba attire such as a plain, not a plain. We want to maintain consistency. So we are going to say a blue cotton tunic with matching trousers sitting under a tree. So this place is the background. So if you want the character to sit on the tree, to stand, to be on the street, you're going to change it here. It doesn't have to be the same. This can change. So I'm going to remove all this part. This setting is a rural village with greenery. No, I'm just going to take this out. So I'm going to say he wears simple Yoruba attire such as a blue cotton tunic matching with trousers sitting under a three i'm going to change this to standing in a house because of how i wrote the script all right i'm going to say standing in a modest house i'm going to leave this here right now we have our prompt our prompt is ready we are going to copy this and then we are going to go to this two here and paste the prompt so we have pasted the prompt here. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to get free access to this tool. So that's why I need to watch this video. At a point in this video, I'll show you how to get it for free. So let's just keep watching. Let me show you the most important thing, how to create this consistent character. Now, you can see we have pasted our prompt here. Now, for this part, this is another important thing that you need to do. Click on more. Once you have pasted your prompt here, remember we are generating the first character, which is Kofi. We want that consistent character for Kofi. So we are going to click on more. You can see these are things that is going to describe the type of image we want. If you want the image to be dramatic, close up image or film, click on more. You can see photography, minimal image, abstract image. But we are going to look for realistic because we want to generate a realistic character. You can see high contrast. I'm going to click on high contrast and then we are going to click on natural light. More are coming up. We click on more, more realistic. Uh, we can add one more. Okay. Clicking on more. You're going to see more and then we're going to add highly detailed. Now we are set. All right. We want the image to be high contrast, natural light, realistic. Remember it can be realistic or animated, but we want a realistic image and highly detailed. Now, like I said, everything here, I've already explained what you need to do. Next thing you do is to keep this place open. Where you see seed, leave it open. I'm going to show you what you do with this later. But for the first image that you're generating for that particular character, leave it open. If it's the first image that you're generating for that character, leave this open, leave the seed open. Now we are going to click on model and select best quality and the aspect ratio. We are going to leave it at mobile. Uh, we are going to leave it at landscape here. It's already on landscape. And then once we are ready, we click on create. So you can see here, say we couldn't create what you asked for. Try a different prompt or click the info icon for more information. If it shows something like that, just know that you put something that makes the AI think that it is against the policy. So you just change any word that feels like a strong word or just click on create again. Let's change this determined expression. Let's leave calm expression. Uh, we are going to remove strong, then click on create. All right, you can see here that it has given us two images that are consistent. Always download your image because sometimes this AI tool doesn't really save the image. So just download. So if you don't like it, what you can do, you can see this image here. This person also looks like the same person. All right, we are going to generate this again. So you can see looks like the same person here. So we can also save this image, right? They also look the same. So what we can do here is to change the background. We can say standing in a street. You can click here, change this to street, standing in a street. Everything is the same. So if I want to change this background or the scene, the only thing I'll change is the scene, the background. For example, I change it from house to street. So let me create. So you can see this person looks the same, but now the person is standing on the street. The person here is also standing on the street. This person here, they look the same, but different background. So now we have the first character. So the next thing we are going to do is to generate the character of Adama, which is the girl, a 22 year old Nigerian woman with radiant dark skin with a youthful, vibrant appearance. She has braided hair styled with colorful beads. Now this colorful beads would distort, would not allow the consistency to give you what you want. So you have to give it a color. So use that same color, brown beads and wears a bright Ankara dress. So instead of saying bright Ankara dress with intricate patterns, the patterns might be different. So what we are going to be saying is wears a white gown. Her expression is soft and loving with a hint of sadness. She's standing by a calm river. So we are going to take this off. She's standing in 
a good looking how. So we are going to copy this prompt and come back here. And from here, this last four parts, we'll leave it and select here and paste here. So we're going to take this part off and then click on create. Now we have not generated any character for the girl. So we are going to leave this seed open. So what I'm going to do next is to click create. Wow. You can see how beautiful Adama looks. All these images look the same. I'm going to download all of them and looks like a real person. Looks like a real image. So you can see they look the same. You can see the brown beads. They look the same. So now we want to generate another image with a different background. Okay. So we are going to say sitting on a table instead of standing. So we'll say sitting on a table. You can see here I said she's sitting with hands on the table. So I click on create. So you can see here they look the same. But remember, I forgot to do something, but the image still looks the same. You can see the image of Adama here looks absolutely gorgeous, looks almost the same with this. I forgot to do something here, but I'm going to do it. Now, remember we have generated the first image and I forgot to do it previously but we'll do it here. Remember, if you're generating the next image after generating the first image of the character and you like that character, what you're going to do is click on this padlock sign here, this padlock icon and lock the seed. All right, lock the seed before generating. So we are going to do that thing again. We are going to generate it again. We are going to change this from she's standing in a good looking house to um, sitting on the table. So we have changed the background to she is sitting with hands on the table and we have locked the seed because we want the character to be the same, but we want to change the background. All right, so we are going to click on create. So you can see how this looks, looks good. I'm going to save this also. This image looks absolutely beautiful, but for me, I don't like it. So if she's not in a house, in a good looking house, so you can see these images look the same. You can see they look absolutely the same. They look good. So the next thing we're going to do is to generate consistent character for the dad. So we're going to generate the image for the dad. So remember this place is still locked. So we don't want the dad character locked with this uh, female's character. So we're going to unlock it here before we create. So we click on create. You can see the dad. We've gotten the image of the dad. Ah, this looks good. Now this is where a lot of people get issues trying to get the same consistent character, two consistent character in an image. All right. And I'm going to do two. I'm going to do Adama and Kofi. I'm going to do Kofi and her dad to show you that the characters would remain consistent standing together in an image. So we are going to go to ChatGPT still in that same chat. Remember we have told ChatGPT, ChatGPT wrote the story, listed out the characters. So ChatGPT knows all these things already and listed out the prompts, all those prompts. So we are going to come down and say ChatGPT. We are going to say create a text to image prompt of Kofi and Adama standing together. So you can see the prompt here that ChatGPT has given. We're going to copy this prompt and go to our document and paste it at the bottom here. All right, because it's a new one. So ChatGPT has given us a prompt that will keep the characters consistent, but we need to do two things. The first thing we need to do for the first character is to use the same image, the same attire they are used, that they have. All right, make sure that those information are the same for the both characters. The information we used when we generated the single character, we have to make sure that it's the same here. You can see young Nigeria couples. We can say standing together. So remember, we use good looking house and we can say facing each other. The man is 27 years old. The same thing, remember, dark skin, short natural hair. We have a simple cutting generic. Remember, attire here is blue. Let's look at it. Traditional, let's copy this blue tonic matching trousers. So we are going to copy this. That's the attire. And we are going to paste it here. He was not holding anything in his hand. So we'll take this out and make sure it's the same. So, and we have a simple traditional Yoruba attire such as blue cotton turmeric with matching trousers. Fine. Then the woman, 22 years old, radiant dark skin, braided hair with not colorful beads, brown beads, and wears a white gown. So you're going to take this off. We can just say standing, facing each other in a good looking house. And then we're going to copy this. So you can see what we did there. We just have to make sure the information are the same. So we are going to go here and paste the prompt. So we are going to generate, remember, we leave the seed open. We're not going to lock the seed. We have already generated images in the past with almost the same prompt. So this AI would know what you're talking about since we just recently generated those characters. So using the same prompt, almost the same prompt with those consistent prompt features would help us generate consistent characters standing together. So let's click on create. Wow. So you can see the both of them are standing together, looks the same and still the same girl with beads on her hair. 
can see this looks this looks good you can see the guy has different hairstyles but i mean it's not that bad a look close you can choose the one with the hairstyle that looks the same it has different images that you can choose from so we have this one if you don't like it just click create and it's going to generate another one for you wow you can see still maintain consistency on these images on these characters so what we're going to do next is generate an image of kofi and her dad on a table so we're going to go back to ChatGPT and say create a text to image prompt of Kwame and Adama sitting with hands on the table and you can see the prompt almost the same prompt anyway paste the prompt here and you can see a Nigerian father and daughter sitting across from each other at a wooden table in a good looking house the father 58 years old dark skin slightly gray beard wears traditional remember the attire the father wears wears a green abada this is simply uh, symbolizing authority so we'll come down and paste it and then yes we are done he sits upright hands firmly on the table and let's take god's expression the daughter 22 years old radiant skin braided hair adorned with brown beads so we'll keep this the same brown beads and wears a white gown she sits with her hands gently placed on the table with the expression of sadness sitting with hands on the table facing each other in a good looking all right so i'm going to copy this so we paste the prompt maintain the same things here and click on create so you can see these images they look good so you can see this character still remains the consistency of the dad you can see the dad still remains or maintains that consistency so that is how you generate it all right so if you want to change this to an animated character it's very easy we are going to delete this realistic here so you're going to write 3d animation animated and then we're going to write pixar so it's going to change this whole thing to a 3d image you can see how this looks and it maintains the consistency you can also see the pixar character of kofi and adama this looks beautiful you can see the pixar character of adama this is beautiful. You can also see Adama in a Pixar form, 3D animation. So this tool is good at 3D and also realistic. And also Kofi, you can see him in his animated character. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this is an Adama also. You can see her sitting on the table. You can see this image looks the same with the previous one of Adama. You can go back in the video and check and compare. You can just go back and compare this image to the previous one animated one I generated for Adanma. You can see how it looks like her animated, highly detailed and high contrast. So if you want to get free access to this tool to generate images, go to Google and search for Google image FX. Click on this first link here that says labs.google. Click on it and it's going to open something like this. What you're going to do is to sign in with your Google account. All right. When you sign in, it's going to take you to another page, but you're going to click here and select image effects. If it's on video effects, because sometimes if you open it, it's going to show you this page. So you're going to click here and click image effects. And you just have to sign in with your Google, your Gmail account, and you start generating images for free. No pricing. You're not paying anything for now. So you can check out the tool. And guys, this is the video I created with the images I generated. I also generated more images to create something like this. Kofi, if my father sees you, he'll be in trouble. And if he doesn't, the stars will scold me for not holding you close. Now, I use some of the images I generated here. Also generated other images to create this video. You can see how it looks. You can see the quality. You might be surprised. How did I make this kind of video? And let me leave it to play for like some seconds. Kofi, if my father sees you, he'll be in trouble. And if he doesn't, the stars will scold me for not holding you close. Papa, love is not about wealth. Kofi makes my heart sing. A woodcarver, he can barely feed himself, let alone feed you. Adama, love won't put food on the table. If they don't bless us, Kofi, what are we going to do? We would wait. I'll prove to them that I'm worthy, even if it takes a lifetime. Wow, absolutely beautiful. This looks good. You can see the quality of video. And in fact, I'm going to show you how to do this in another video. Just check out my channel. There are lots of videos. And just check if you're watching this video to see if I've posted the video. I'll show you how to create this type of videos, all right, that looks 
good looks realistic i'm going to show you how to do it in another video subscribe if you have not subscribed yet like i said there are lots and lots of helpful videos in this channel like comment and share this video you might want to watch this other video right here i made it for you because i know it's going to help you so watch this video i'll see you there